Hey, hope you're okay. So someone posted on the Facebook group that they wanted to apply this code pen to their Bricks website. And the trouble is that you often get the HTML, CSS and JavaScript and everyone assumes you can just drop this in. You can drop it in, but there's a few things you need to do to make it work. And it becomes slightly more complicated when you click on the JavaScript and there's like a JavaScript library over here. People sometimes forget to add this as well. If you don't add this, part of what you're trying to achieve won't work. In fact, the library is to make these particles move. So I'm gonna show you how to do this really, really quickly in Bricks Builder. And this should work for nearly any code pen. When you're on a Bricks page, you wanna go over to your elements and you wanna grab the code widget. I'm just gonna drop it into this container. You will get some example code here. Don't worry about that. We're gonna completely get rid of that like this. Completely get rid of it. Let's go back over to the code. The first thing I'm gonna do is copy all of that HTML as it is. I'm not gonna make no changes. And I am now just gonna paste it. And all we've got is a bit of gobbledygook code. What I'm now gonna do is just hit execute code. When you execute, some of it now becomes visible. What we're now gonna do though is apply the CSS. So make sure you're right at the bottom, right at the bottom, and then you're gonna type in a style like this. Sorry, with the close bracket. And then I'm also gonna type style again with the forward slash, backslash, whatever you wanna call it. I always just call it slash, right? So make sure you've now got style and you're closing off the style. In between them there is now when you apply the CSS. So let's go and pick the CSS up, which is here. We go back over to our code and we drop that in. You can now see what's happening on the screen, right? It has now applied it. However, we don't have the particles or the falling snow. Again, make sure you are right at the bottom. You know, please do make sure you're at the bottom. We're now gonna paste in the JavaScript. So let's go and get that. Now we will come back to revisit this because this isn't all gonna work. And here's the other thing you gotta think about. Let's now go back over to our code and we are now gonna type script like that, close it. And again, now do it with the slash as well. Let's just call it slash for argument's sake. In between there, I will now paste in the JavaScript like that. And again, remember, if it doesn't execute, just do that and execute. But at the moment, the particles are not there. And this is where with a lot of code pens, you'll apply something and there's no animation. There's no movement. And you start like going onto forums and everywhere else and people are like, yeah, just drop it in. And that doesn't totally make sense and is not even completely true. Here's what you need to do. If I now go over here, I wanna scroll down until I get to where the CSS was applied. You're just looking for the word style, to be honest, right? There we go. And what you'll notice above the style is we have the closing body syntax. So for the HTML, everything was contained within body and body, right? Before the closing body syntax, I am now gonna pop in the word script again. And I will also do the slash script and then modify it to look like this. So where we originally had the, let me just change it for you again, okay? Just so you can see it. That is what it looks like. And then I'm gonna change it to have space, SRC for source with an equals. And I'm gonna put in double speech mark. In between the speech mark is now where you go and paste what we just went and copied originally, which was this. Let me just get it again. Let's just copy that. We now paste that in between the speech mark. Now I'm gonna hit save. Okay, uh, by the way, you might not see it on here. It's not until you're actually visualizing it on the live screen. And there you go. We now have the falling particles. So you do your HTML, you put your CSS in style, you put your JavaScript in script, you go back to the HTML, go right to the bottom, and before the end closing off of the body, which was here, let me just, uh, where's my code? What have I done with it? There we go. Here we go, I've then added in the script, but the important bit is you then put source equals, speech mark, speech mark, and drop the code in there. And that should work for you. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squad, and like, subscribe, share, and follow, I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pack.